Without further ado, I would like to introduce our first speaker from Threebs & Co, EO, who is the founder and managing director of Threebs. As one of our closest SME partners, we are so glad to witness Threebs' tremendous growth since the business started and how it has thrived over the COVID period and became what it is today. Delighted to hear your sharing today. Over to you, EO. Uh, yep, thanks. Hello. Um, well, thank you, Adam. Uh, uh, thank you, Grab, for having me again. My name is uh, Io. I'm the managing director for Trips.co. Uh, uh, I mean, just a few weeks ago, uh, we were also with Grab during the e Permula launch, uh, together with the Prime Minister and uh, Minister of Finance uh, of, Malay of Malaysia. So now a fun fact. Uh, even though the Prime Minister did manage to visit our booth, uh, but he actually posted a picture of, uh, of the event uh, into his Instagram, and I happened to be in the picture. <laughs> so, I mean, I wish I could show you, uh, I mean, but, I, but I was the only one with cap in the picture, so I knew it was me because everyone else was wearing a mask. So anyway, I'm here to share about what we do at Trips and also the journey of growth uh, with Grab. We're an e-com business, and we started our operation two years ago and had our official launch uh, in April uh, 20, last year, 2021. And so far, it has been a very good ride, and we, our growth has accelerated, fortunately and unfortunately due to COVID. So we believe in uh, loving ourselves, and everything else will be fine. Trips is built on a lifestyle, a health and beauty community aiming to help our consumer and improve the experience uh, before making the purchase of their products. I mean, you know, especially the products if you're going to put on your face. One of the main challenges uh, for online shopping is that we notice that consumers have, uh, don't, they don't have a very good concept of the product size. For example, some actually think that a 30 ml looks uh, like this, but once they receive it, <laughs> it's actually just a few drops. So, the, so you know, then they get disappointed. And we know that uh, failing to meet customer expectations is quite dangerous online, and it could also mean losing them. Even though we are not wrong, you know, it's clearly stated on the website, it's 30 ml. <laughs> So I think to solve this problem, so we just built a product size visualization. So it helps to manage that expectation. We are also a mobile first company. Uh, we know that there's 90% of our, uh, our customers actually visited our website through their mobile app. Therefore, we focus very much on uh, designing the layout and optimizing it towards a very small screen. And our team's in, uh, background has always been in, been in data and tech. And we work with more than 200 million uh, consumer data in this APAC region. But behavior online uh, for consumers are very dynamic. Therefore, we cannot stop learning. We started our journey with Grab since uh, 2020. Both uh, Catherine and uh, Catman have provided excellent support. So when Catherine first uh, pitched to us the idea of buy now, pay later, uh, we were quite doubtful, to be honest. But we went ahead anyway. Truly, I mean, just because we believe they know what they are doing. So for a few months, it was OK. But the moment that we, when we start carrying expensive products, that's where we see the real impact. And I think it can be attributed to three reasons, uh, several reasons here. I mean, now expensive products starts to look affordable. Secondly, it's, it's all in one app. And it's probably one of the most installed apps in Malaysia. And I bet everyone in this room has, uh, has Grab app on their phone. And lastly and most importantly is that I, they have a very strong marketing team. I mean, not just online. As we can see, billboards and all the highways, as well as on our way to uh, KLIA. So in skincare, we do have some very effective products. But the problem with these products is that they are very, very, very expensive. For example, a brand like this, Forio, it can cost up to thousands. So right now, with a product that's like $1,000, it's now being slashed into four. So it looks like it's just 250 ringgit. Secondly, we believe everyone is already using Grab, and for many different purposes, rights, food, and now it's just payment. 
Buy now, pay later is already available for to, to most people, but I think subject to some eligibility. Lastly, uh, you know, it's the Grab's marketing campaigns. I believe we have participated in all marketing campaigns that Grab has offered. I mean, not all campaigns are successful, but we believe that exposure is more important to us. And it's not a waste in any way. So now, uh, looking at numbers, uh, we saw conversion rate actually increase more than 50% for products over $300. Uh, dollars. And sales from some selected brands went up as high as 120%. So to conclude why we plan to continue and extend our partnerships together with Grab, first, I mean, there, are, there are already millions of users of Grab, and we are just really scratching the surface. Most importantly, it's value for our customers. With every purchase made on our website, our customers get their Grab Rewards points. Personally, I use Grab Pay and Rewards so much, I think uh, that I just claimed a Xiaomi cleaner for free last week. So that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rio. Thank you very much. Once again, thank you, Eo. I love the part where you said that we should start loving yourself first and buy now, pay later, buy grab. Next, we have a humble entrepreneur and one of the coaches in Astro program called SME Great Helpers for Two Seasons. Let us welcome Spring Wong, the founder of 50 Gram. Spring Wong is a man of many talents from being a renowned online florist all the way being the co-founder of High Blender. Today, he'll be sharing with us how Pay Later by Grab has helped to drive business demands from Gen Z to his businesses. The stage is yours. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Adams. Good morning, everyone. Last week, I hope you guys have a great weekend and celebrate and have a great dinner with your parents, with your moms especially, because last week is Mother's Day. And we have a very busy we can helping our customers to deliver, to express their love to their mothers and sending a lot of happy face to all of them. This is one of the reasons I started 50 Gram. Begins with an idea to send flowers to mom. I went to the flower shop and I see how they work. I think I can shift the old way of doing into the modern way, which is what Zen Z really want. I started in 2016 and changing the business model. And today, we have grown our user base into, to 250,000 with the grand purpose of gratitude makes simple. We want our customers to express their gratitude in the most simple form, in the seamless experience, and also a seamless payment as well. We always try to be the best. So we score 4.7 Google rating, and also four the people who want to do the same day delivery, we even offer the time slot selections. So the flower and gift will deliver in a timely manner. Of course, when the flower got a problem, we offer money back guarantees like what Grab do as well. And the second brand I do is I started during pandemic. I always think that what Zen Z really want. The Gen Z really want is Gen Z is actually Zen me. What they really want is a lifestyle. That's why we started a lifestyle business. This is an aesthetic portable blender that we built. And this one is our latest, latest design. Not just providing blender, we also provide a subscription for them to subscribe our frozen food so they can easily access to, to bake their smoothie just to open their fridge. Both of our company last year adopted pay later. And we see the increases our conversion rate by 43.38%. It's, it's quite a lot. Let me explain a little bit about conversion rate. Let's say there's 1,000 people coming into your website, there's 30 people buying you, it's 3%. If increased by 43%, it's actually increased quite a number of purchases, especially the last ticket size item. For example, this is, a, this is 99 roses that often people buy for their marriage proposal. Instead of buying the smaller one, now they can buy the bigger one and split into four payments and make their marriage proposal better. Of course, increases the chances of your girlfriend saying yes. 
when you say, marry me. <laughs> so other than that, we also see there's increases on average basket size. And how does this work? We can see there's 12% increase on high blender and 12% uh, 50, uh, on 50 gram. It's actually like this. Let, for, let me make an example. When you buy a bouquet for a birthday surprises, now you can actually add on with other SKU, for example, cake to make your surprise even more better. For another example on High Blender, how people use it to, to add on, to upgrade themselves. Instead of buying one, now they can buy two at a cheaper cost with a promo and also with bad, bad pay later. And now, one for myself and one for my girlfriend. So every morning, I don't need to quarrel with her and make my day. <laughs> That's how impactful. On the third point, we can see Grab also helping us expanding the customer segment. How does this work? There's a, there's a shop button in the Grab app where they list all our online merchants on it. And people actually can browse through all the Grab Pay merchants inside. Of course, when, during we have running promotion with Grab, you can see the codes, the promo code there, and the users can actually use the promo code and send and go to our website and make the purchase. More additional channels for brands owner actually more happy. So we can see Grab, you, Grab actually bring a lot of, a number of users daily. Just like me, I always use Grab on my payment, on my convenience stores, and it helps a lot. So on the fourth point, if my favorite one, we actually call it marketing campaign together with Grab. So we can see, during the years, we have year-end sales, and we have Chinese New Year sales, of course, the reason one, the Mother's Day as well. Not just one side effort, we actually see that Grab as well, put in the advertising budget, together we bring in the traffic, and all this campaign, all this promo, actually help incentivize our users, incentivize the purchase, make it more quicker compared to our competitor. Of course, the purchaser actually can decide faster and make the purchase quicker. Thus, it helps us to reduce the drop-off rate. So users now often looking for this kind of collaborations. In the snap short of the 12th month, Grab do help us increase 25% on average quarter to quarter in sales, 28% on the monthly transaction users. And we also together in total do a 14 times more 14 marketing campaign. And the last one is my favorite. On 11-11, we come up with a very attractive promo. 30% off on Grab Pay, 40% off on Pay Later, up to 50 ringgit. As a result, our sales 10.5x. So, Grab and Pay Later do help our business grow. And last, <coughs> I would like to thank you to the stage. Thank you, Grab, to invite me to do the sharing. And one day, I hope 50 Grab will be at your service to deliver, express your gratitude and love to your friends, family, and colleagues. Thank you very much. Yes. Appreciate it. Very insightful sharing, Spring. We are really grateful for your support and we look forward to drive more business to you and your other business ventures in the future. Next up, we have Head of Digital and E-Commerce for Lux at L'Oreal, Rachel Tan. She has 12 years of experience in the digital and e-commerce space responsible for luxury brands acceleration, including Kiehl's, Lancome, Biotherm, YSL, Shu Omura, Urban Decay, and also It Cosmetics. Let's give a round of applause to welcome Rachel Tan for her sharing. Thank you, Adam. Hi, good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi, it's been, it's been two years, three years since I've been on stage due to the pandemic. So it's really, really nice to be here. Thank you, Catman and team for having me here. Uh, my name is Rachel and I lead uh, the e-commerce and digital for L'Oreal Lux. Uh, in case you don't know what L'Oreal Lux is, just to walk you through a little bit, we represent all the luxury brands. Any big fans of YSL in the room? Hey, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so we represent Kiehl's, the number one luxury skincare brand in Malaysia. Any, any Kiehl's user in the house? Yeah, okay, I see a few hands, great. And then we also represent Lancome, Shuimura, uh, Jojo Armani, uh, Biotherm, any cosmetics from the US, right? So I think today, um, for me, I only have 10 minutes. I'd like to share a story with you. 
about the digitalization of L'Oreal, right? And traditionally, you all know that L'Oreal, if you don't, we are a retail brand. We're a retail brand. We had so many retail outlets. We have so many beauty advisors. Today, if you're walking to a store, you get serviced right, by a person that says, hey, how's your skin type? You know, can I recommend you a product, etc., right? And so, let's go. Okay, so in a few short years and the lockdown in 2020, the entire retail industry was um, affected, and L'Oreal especially with a lot of uh, offline outlets, we had to pivot, right? So, and that's when uh, digitalization actually started. You'd be surprised because L'Oreal has been a 100 century old company, and why aren't they so active on digital, right? And so I'm here to share the story, I'm here to share our journey, and also um, what's upcoming for us, right? And so number one is, I think during the lockdown, a lot of the BAs, we call them beauty advisors, has no job, right? Close, the, the shops are closed, so what do we do with them? We want to keep their jobs, right? So what we did was number one, we introduced social commerce. And social commerce is very new in Malaysia, where Traditionally, we're very, very known to chat through Facebook Messenger. We, we are known to chat through Instagram, etc. So what we did was we actually got the beauty advisors to become e-beauty advisors. Right? So today, when you chat with someone, or today if you go to Kiehl's, or Lancome, or YSL, or Jeju Armani, you chat, you shop Kiehl's, or you hashtag shop Kiehl's, you can now chat with a real-life beauty advisor to advise you on a virtual note, your skincare, tips, what product is suitable for you, etc. And that began our entire digital experience to help them, right? To really help them keep their jobs, to help us accelerate the business. Okay, on top of that, we also went into our e-boutique. Now, e-boutique, uh, in a Malaysia term, we're known as D2C or dot-com businesses that you're more familiar with. Why e-boutique is because traditionally in retail, you're called boutiques. So e-boutique means online.com, okay? So we have three e-boutiques today, which is our kills.com. Dot my, Lancome and YSL that you can buy on top, direct to consumers. We ship them directly to you. And the third platform that we have is on leveraging on Shopee and Lazada through uh, official stores. Now, I'm going to use the biggest brand in the country and in the division as an example of how we digitalized it and a couple of scenarios, right? So over the years, in 2019, we actually had a very strong 21 freestanding stores. Now, freestanding stores means you have standalone kale shop like the one in Mid Valley, the one in different malls that you see today. And we had our launch of our first dot com in 2019. And this is right before the pandemic hit. And the weight of business for online was truly, really, really small. Right? Now, when, when the first MCO happened in uh, March 2020, our e boutique business actually grew you know, by 11 times. Right? And after the first MCO, and gradually the second MCO and third MCO, you can see that today, our online business is actually contributing to almost half the entire group business. Right? And so, in the span of two years, we have grown tremendously. The team has grown. We were actually forced into the scenario to, to, to adapt right, to the uh, pandemic. Okay, and so what are we into these days? What's our obsession? Number one is because we're so strong on retail, our obsession is omnichannel. Right? How do we convert an offline customer's online and an online customer's to go offline to experience the services? So it's a truly a very interesting experience. So the first pillar is really to enhance our customer journey experience through our dot-com, our social commerce, and of course, beauty tech and, and you know, looking at many, many ways to improve customer experience with us as well as one-to-one -one consultation online and uh, personalization in their journey. That could also, um, it's interesting because if you're a YSL shopper today, if you walk to YSL, you can actually engrave your name uh, and words on your product, etc. And these are the O2O -O journeys that we're introducing, okay? Now, what is the impact then on um, pay later on the beauty industry or luxury to be specific, right? You'll be wondering. So I'm going to take a Q4 example. Last year, and Q4 is, you know, e-commerce. Q4 is the, is the month, right? The D quarter. And so for us, Kiehl's, you know, drew, really, really grew tremendously uh, with uh, pay later and grab pay. And grab pay is actually one of the preferred partner, uh, preferred payment options as well, contributing to at least 30% of transactions that go through pay. Uh, and of course, with pay later, what we have seen is that our average order value has actually increased right, by 14%. And December is the month where people are shopping for gifts, Christmas, etc. And that's where we've actually seen the impact of pay later on the business. Right? Now, for us at L'Oreal, to constantly grow online, and we have grown so fast 
uh, in the last two years, uh, we are constantly obsessed about recruitment as well. How do we recruit new customers? How do we recruit the Gen M's? How do we recruit new, new target audience that don't buy with us yet, right? And so with Grab, our marketing initiatives are very closely linked to work together to actually push. And what we see is today, for example, with Kiehl's, six out of 10 customers who transact with Grab are actually new customers for us. And what we want is to continue to do this. And hence, what we have seen is, it's been a tremendous help for us and we will continue to do this. And we actually just recently, uh, soft promo, launched our Lancome.com uh, recently, just uh, two weeks ago. So feel free to check it out. They also have the Buy Now, Pay Later um, service. Right? Uh, and just an example here of how do we do it. We partner with Grab very closely in terms of marketing campaigns, getting in-app exposures, getting comm support, also down the media uh, perspective as well to convert people and to drive them back into our page. And using Ramadan, the most recent campaign as an example, right, we have to have always on campaigns to drive the recruitment as well as the engagement with our customers. And so we are really, really proud to say that our customers have actually truly followed our journey from offline to uh, the whole pandemic and to becoming omni-channel customers and now embracing the new technology and the services that we have to offer. Right? And that's it. That's my last slide. Thank you so much. Feel free to connect.